Hello everybody and welcome to some new content on my channel. Uh, for the new year I wanted to dive into something I've never done before. Uh, not that YouTube hasn't seen a million other Let's Plays in its existence, but I wanted to try doing something a little bit different and not back myself into a corner of um, doing one thing forever and ever. Uh, it's not replacing anything. I'm not going to be taking away the narrations. In fact, they are coming back full force this upcoming week. Now that the holidays are over, you're going to have narrations uh, on Monday as usual, but I'm going to be uploading this in addition to that, probably on Wednesdays or Fridays. If you guys want to see more gameplays, that's great. <laughs> I'd love to give you just more content and more things to entertain yourselves. This is Blameless. I've never heard of this game before. I looked it up on Steam under top free psychological horror uh, and this was in there, so let's give it a shot. I'm an architect, freelance, so I take job offers as they arise. So when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who can do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply, because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain, and at first glance it seemed like brick dust. But then I realized it was blood, spilled on the floor. I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured, so I turned to tell the man. That's when I saw his hand raised to hit me. He was holding a metal rod. Before I could defend myself, he hit me in the head. I must have passed out. I don't know how long I was out. <sighs> when I woke up. Awesome. That hurt. <sighs> Alright, so trapped in a construction site. It's unique. I don't think I've ever seen horror gameplay in that quite quite that setting before. Of you were invited over here and now you're stuck here. In this construction site. I got a phone. It is now my phone. The phone is smashed. No way it's gonna work anytime soon. Sweet, so let's keep it. This blood stain does not look like it's a result of a banal injury. It seems fresh. The blood hasn't completely dried out yet. This looks like something was being dragged across the blood stain. Neat. He has some really pink blood. the action of a construction site. How exciting. Um, so as I said, I've never done this before. This is uh, quite an experimental video. I've never done Let's Plays. I've never actually worked without a script before, so it's a little intimidating. Um, but if you guys like this content, I will definitely keep doing more of it. I'm not gonna say much initially. <laughs> Uh, as I'm not used to it, and also I personally don't like when people constantly talk over Let's Plays. I can't put this away, so I'm just gonna set it right there. I might be able to get further through the attic. Okay. Um, but it's by no means like a game I've played before and I'm, I'm not like a pro at it. Uh, in fact, I've never picked it up before, so perhaps watching me fumble around in silence isn't fun either. 
I'm gonna set that right there with my pile. It's slipping. I can't turn it by hand. Hit me. There we go. Lurking around in here. And there's blood on the ground from a previous person. The library card belonging to Helen Woodward. How did it get here? Oh, the library card? Nobody uses library cards anymore. Stuck underneath the beam. Oh, sure. Why not? Yeah. Click or do anything with it to make it like a weapon, which um, makes a little no sense. Whoa. Shit. Um, spooky scary is happening. You can't do anything when you're holding any item like that, so. Yeah, I'm walking around defenseless. Uh. Spooky scary. Blurry manual reading, that's my favorite. Oh. The fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my duffel bag. The fuse box opener is locked. Okay. I don't like the look of that dark corridor. Why not? Let's see if the light switch is working. Freaking love dark corridors. Better. What the hell? Did you lose your library card? Cause I found it. Shit, she's... She's dead. Oh, come on, you don't know that. I don't want to look at her face. It's dust. It sure is. Ugh. Okay, maybe she's dead. It's 
the address of this house. Was she invited here too? Awesome. Okay, well. Okay, so that is where I'm gonna stop right now because we just found a dead body. Spooky. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more gameplay of Blameless, let me know. I'll post some more in the future. If not, I mean, I could go to different games that are also free on Steam. Till then, I will see you at my next narration. Thanks for watching, everybody.